Andre, after having to miss most of last year with, with the injury, kind of assess your play through the first four games. How do you feel like you've kind of, you know, bounced back from that? Uh, I think just not playing football for a long time, uh, for a long period of time like that, just kind of getting back into the, the groove of things, just kind of different aspects of the game that you don't really get to see, just watching film. I think just getting back into it and just getting back into the flow, flow of things is very important. Looking at that Oklahoma game, what was your biggest takeaway watching film back? I think our biggest takeaway is just how much we can improve. Um, I'm getting a, a road victory is obviously that's the goal, but we can always improve. We can improve so much as a team, and I think that's just a, a bright spot just moving forward, just what we can look, look at, just seeing how much we can improve and how much we can get better. Andre, was it a little bit sweeter for you when that game, given you started your career at Texas, you're from Texas? Yeah, I've played uh, OU a couple of times. We always played in, uh, in Dallas at the Cotton Bowl. So it was a little different kind of going to Oklahoma at their stadium and getting it done. But same, still the same feeling, same satisfaction. You mentioned getting back into it after missing so much time. How much more comfortable are you in the system? Uh, obviously, you played a good bit outside at Texas. Now you're inside. How, how much has the game slowed down in there for you after these four games? And, and how much has that helped you kind of move forward in your progression? I think always when, when switching positions, that there's a little bit of a period where you're, you're trying to just everything's moving a lot faster than it, than it was before because you're comfortable in your tackle position. Uh, say moving to guard, things were happening a lot quicker, uh, a lot more aggressive at, to the point of attack. And I think uh, just having all those reps and getting a lot of time uh, up to this year, everything has slowed down to this point. And it, I think I've just been, it's been a lot better. How would you assess the line's ability and coverage, especially like in those blitz packages? Uh, I would say, I mean, we work on it every week. We always uh, are always prepared for whatever they can uh, show. So uh, just every week, as long as we're on our stuff, I think we can pick up anything. So I think just those blitz packages is just a, a routine thing for us that we, we, we do on a normal practice basis. Andre, how, how would you kind of describe this offensive line, both in terms of how you guys play, your playing style, and also just the kind of personality you guys have in, in the meeting room? I would say this is one of the deeper offensive lines uh, units that I've been a part of. Um, uh, you would say uh, something to describe us would be smart. I think a lot of us in the room uh, have played a lot of games, and just kind of seeing how things play out in the midst of a game and being able to make adjustments on the sideline, just uh, I would say smart. What have you seen from Larry Johnson so far playing alongside him? And you know, how did he kind of respond getting in the game there Saturday? Yeah, I mean, I, I love Larry, man. He's a, he's a hardworking guy. We kind of, uh, came in at the same time, so a little bit of our recruiting was together. Uh, just we've always told him, uh, it's kind of cliche to say, but you're always one play away from getting in the game. And that did happen this past Saturday. And I think he's prepared well, and he was ready to go out there and get, get it done. It's a similar question, but Dane Davis, how do you feel like he stepped up against Oklahoma? Uh, Dane Davis, he's he's a leader in the O line room. Uh, he he uh, he's always out there. He he knows everything. He's he's very smart. And uh, I mean, there's obviously some plays he probably want to get back, but he's a great player. He played pretty good. What do you think it says about the offensive line that you guys were able to adjust without having Lance Hurd in, and then when Campbell went out as well? Uh, I would say kind of just piggybacking off uh, one of his questions is that we're smart and we're. Uh, we can help each other out when things get get complicated with the blitz packages and with uh, players being injured. I would just say just this, just being smart and uh, being able to adjust on the run that's been very helpful helpful for us. Thank you.